Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run panel unit root test in eViews. The unit root testing is an econometric approach that tests whether the mean and the variance change over the time, taking into the account the autoregressive structure of the time series. It is a test for determining whether the mean, variance and the covariance of time series are independent of time or not. In the panel unit root test framework, two generations of tests have been evolved. A first generation, Levin, Lean, and Chu test 2002, IM Peshran and Seen test 2003, and Fisher type test. Their main assumption is a cross sectional independence across the units. A second generation of tests that rejects the cross sectional independence hypothesis. The second generation of panel unit root test aims to overcome the shortcoming of the cross sectional dependence in the first generation test. With regards to this, all tests except for the BI and NG2005 and Harris et al. assumes that there is a unit root in the data. The second generation tests are based on the heterogeneity assumptions. Accordingly, there is no common autoregressive structure in the series and the panels are heterogeneous. The hypothesis of the panel unit root testing for Levin, Lean and Chu tests are null hypothesis is panel data has a unit root test and we assume a common unit root process. Alternative is panel data has no unit root. Written 2000, null panel data has a unit root. Assume the common unit root process. Alternative is panel data has no unit root. I am Peshran and seen 2003, the null hypothesis panel data has a unit root and we assume the individual unit root process and the data is non-stationary. The alternative is panel data has no unit root and the data is stationary. Fisher type tests using ADF and PP test, Madala and View 1999 and Choi 2001. The null hypothesis is panel data has a unit root and we assume it's an individual unit root process. Alternative is panel data has no unit root. Hedry 1999. The null hypothesis is panel data does not have the unit root, data is stationary. Alternative is panel. Panel data has a unit root, data is non stationary. Now, how to run this test in eViews? Let's see. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression using eViews to understand the flow of this entire series. This data has been taken from the book. Basic Econometrics by Damodar Gujarati. Open as group. And you can see here, year is there, observation is there, y, dependent variable, x2, independent variable, x3, independent variable. Now, this is a panel data. I want to check the stationarity of the dependent variable y. So, for this, I'll go in quick, series statistics, unit root test, I'll write down y here, click OK. You should activate the summary from here. Make sure it's the test for unit root is on level and this is an individual intercept. Click OK. You can see here the p-value of all this test is more than 0 0.05, which means that we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that data is the series is having a unit root and it is non-stationary. Technically, we will write this as as the p-value of all this test is more than 0 0.05, we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that the series is having a unit root and the data is non-stationary. Now, we will again go in the quick series statistics unit root test. Again, I'll write down Y here, click OK. And we want to check here now that after doing the first difference, does the data become stationary or not? So I'll activate first difference, click OK. You can see here the p-value of all this test is less than 0 0.05, which means that we reject the null hypothesis that the data has a unit root and now the st series is stationary. Technically, we will write here as the p-value is less than 0 0.05, the null hypothesis is rejected, which means that the series does not have the unit root, which means that the series is stationary. In case of conflict between this test, four test, we will go with the majority. Now, to run the head retest, again, I'll go in quick series statistics, unit root test. I'll run on here, Y. Click OK. Activate 
head ring from here again level you should remember one thing in case of head ring test that the null hypothesis is a little bit different the null hypothesis is panel does not have the unit root that is a null and the alternative is panel has a unit root click ok here the p value is less than 0 0.05 which means that the null is rejected and you can very well interpret here the panel data has a unit root and it is non-stationary again we will go back in quick estimate equation sorry quick series statistics unit root test y ok make sure head ray is on now we will check for the first difference click ok now you can see here the p value is less than 0 0.05 again we reject null hypothesis which means that the panel data has the unit root we have already discussed that in case of dispute between this test or conflict between this test we will go for the majority wins for more videos on panel data regression using eviews kindly subscribe to my channel please don't forget to press the like button you can see my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression using eviews you can follow me on linkedin and twitter